Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and it's that time of the week again. It is Hasbro finished his team or teams that have to be finished. So the interesting pick for this week is, is funny because there isn't actually any of these made by Hasbro yet in Marvel Legends unfortunately. And this week's team, I know someone peaked it a couple of weeks ago but I... Really sorry, I can't remember your name. And it may have been on Reddit, it may have been on Facebook, or it may have been on my YouTube channel itself. But anyway, on with the team. This week's team is the Star Jammers. So the Star Jammers were a team created by David Cockrum. Yes, that's the real name. So he tried to get this solicited as its own book, and he found that there was a two year block of already confirmed books so there was no space for it but the man known as Chris Claremont legendary X-Men writer took them on and they appeared in X-Men 104 so the Star Jammers guys I cannot believe when I went searching that there hasn't been any of these guys made now I am not including the Shi'ar in this the Shi'ar Royal Guard I am just doing the Star Jammers so Lilandra's Head that came with Mystique does not count or Guardian or whatever his name was Gladiator he does not count so let's start to go through them there is some awesome looking concepts and some awesome looking characters in this set and we'll start with Rizal Longknife who is a bald cybernetic looking dude as you can see in the picture he has a cybernetic eye and a cybernetic arm and I think he for one would look fantastic on a shelf now, as, as for releasing these guys, Hasbro could do the old drop one in a wave here, drop one in a wave there. But I think the Star Jammers themselves lend themselves perfectly to a San Diego Comic Con or a New York Toy Fair box set. I think that would be amazing. Back onto the, the characters. There is Chod or Chod. It's C-H-O-D. So pronounce that whatever you way, way you like. He's pretty much Space Abomination. He's got the same funny amphibian looking ears and everything. And you could easily release him as a deluxe figure and it would sell, I think, as well as if it wasn't to be in a box set. Of course, then you've got the leader, Corsair, who, of course, is Cyclops' dad. And that connection was only made to link them to the X-Men by Claremont. So that's why he is Cyclops' father. Of course, Cyclops himself was in the Star Jammers at one point, but I'm not counting him either. Then there is Hep Hepaziba. Hepaziba? 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 Yeah, Hepaziba, who has also been in the X-Men and X-Force. She is one of the original members of the Star Jammers, and I think she would make a fantastic figure as well. Really cool to have on the shelf. Then we start to get down to the other ones. Corvus, who kind of looks similar-ish to Wolverine I said similar but he does look really cool he has a big massive blade like the one in that cloud carries in Final Fantasy 7 and a broad horse a big 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 sword and of course there is Sikorsky then as well who is a little bug this is why I was saying like they could do um, a box set because little characters like this Hasbro always say oh look another character and then, of course, there's three as well. The the pet kind of thing. Sidekick for Chad. And he looks really cool. And you do have Waldo as well. Who was the AI slash robot of the ship. So there is a good amount of figures there. There is a good amount of figures there to get through. And there is no current plans for any of them. So let's get that box set, Hasbro. Or just release a wave. Even if you were to do like. If you were to do Chad with a packing accessory of Creed. That would be awesome. Waldo would be another cool packing accessory for someone else. Depending on which version of him you do. Corsair and Cyclops 2 pack. Is another definite choice maybe for Hasbro to make. But I don't know guys. I would love to see this team back here with the rest of their Legends compadres. And... Let us know in the comments what you think of this team I selected this week. And make sure to drop your own in the comments below and let me think. 
and let me see what you've got and we'll see what we'll do next week so guys same time same bat channel hit that subscribe button hit the like button and we will see you on the next one and most importantly have a great weekend guys and we'll see you on the culture cast on sunday at 9 30 gmt bye have a beautiful time